We've got a cost of living crisis in this country, a very serious one. Food's going up, fuel's going up, clothes are going up, gas is going up, electricity's going up, petrol's going up, diesel's going up. You see the, you see the theme here, it's all going up. We need hard and fast solutions because salaries aren't going up in line with this. Benefits aren't going up in line with this. Prices need to drop or money needs to increase to keep up with it. Very, very simple calculation. But what's Rishi Sunak's answer? Oh, we'll just chuck a monkey at it and see what happens. How do everyone? Welcome back to the channel for a Friday. Hope you're doing all right. I'm not too bad myself. For all of those that are about to accuse me of animal cruelty, a monkey I refer to is Cockney rhyming slang for 500 quid. And uh, I'm hoping you made the assumption that's what I meant, but there you go. Anyway, yes, uh, we're getting to the point, crisis point, where there is a crisis in this country, a cost of living crisis, and it's not getting any easier. We need to do something about it. We can't have a situation where people have to choose between heat and eat, which is one of the uh, catchphrases of that has come out of all of this and we need an answer. Now, in my view, the rates and the hidden taxes on fuel and food and everything else need cutting, or we need to find a way of becoming more self-sufficient so we don't have to pay import duty and everything else, it's that simple. But what's Rishi's answer to this? throw more cash dollar at it basically it's very simple money 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 let's give them some more money about 500 quid is a figure that's being banded about but i i have two questions really number one how far do you think 500 pounds will go not very in this day and age that's like probably two months gas and electricity supply if that and less than a month shopping for a family of four absolutely ridiculous and also, how's this going to be paid for? Aren't we in enough trouble as it is with all this supposed parachute money that's getting sent to all and sundry? The next two or three generations of Brits are going to be in debt up to their arse because of what's happening now. It's not going to work. It's not a solution. It's just putting a band-aid on a big problem that needs sorting now. I think the way to go is find a way of bringing those taxes down those those duties down it's the only way and uh, I'll wait and see what happens but the days of throwing money at stuff long gone let me know what you think but uh, I don't I don't get this anymore I'm not in the program and I wonder if you think different anyway I'm off I'll see you shortly with another one to Lou